so here friends now this is the next part of our blood pharmacology in this we are going to discuss about hypolipidemic drugs okay drugs which are used for lowering the lipid in your blood so first coming to the lipid so lipid is of two types basically which we are interesting in here in this particular topic triglyceride and cholesterol okay cholesterol promotes your atherosclerosis that will lead to mi and stroke and this triglyceride is responsible for acute pancreatitis and it also increases the risk of diabetes mellitus clear so we will first start the hypolipidemic drugs then we will this is the general physiology okay which we are not interested here we, just, we are just going to start the drug particularly and the mechanism of drugs so hypolipidemic drugs are categorized into five categories okay the first one group is your the most important that is statins okay the second one is your resins the third one is your fibrates then the fourth niacin and there are some newer drugs clear so first starting with the statins that is the basic drug for this and the most important drug the most important category of drug is this statins clear now coming to the mechanism of action of statin so this statin basically inhibit de novo synthesis of cholesterol in liver okay de novo synthesis of cholesterol in liver will be inhibited by this statin because statin is inhibiting the enzyme which is known as hmg coa reductase okay because this hmg coa is converted into mevalonate which is finally leading to the synthesis of cholesterol and this conversion hmg coa to mevalonate is done by hmg coa reductase inhibitor so statins just inhibit this enzyme hmg coa reductase and so that will decrease the cholesterol synthesis and but see cholesterol has to synthesize bile and bile needs cholesterol so what liver will do liver is not able to synthesize cholesterol so what liver will do liver will suppose this is liver so liver will increase its receptor of ldl ldl receptor will be increased on liver surface and from blood ldl will be absorbed into liver and that is used for synthesis of bile clear so here see decrease cholesterol in liver will increase ldl receptor on liver and that will decrease ldn in blood because ldl is coming from blood towards the liver for synthesis of bile and that will also decrease sdl in blood clear okay so this is the mechanism of statin this is the how statin works now what are the drug drugs are only given orally okay the, all these all drugs are given orally the drug are lofastatin then pravastatin fluvastatin simvastatin atorvastatin then prosuvastatin and pitavastatin clear just remember lp f a r p sarp okay so these are the drugs now most potent is your pitavastatin the most potent drug is pitavastatin only 2 mg is administered pitavastatin and least potent are this lovastatin and pravastatin this dose is 40 mg and the potency increases downwards clear now so there are some mcq question most potent pitavastatin longest acting is your rosuvastatin then safe in anuria is your atorvastatin maximum oral viability is seen with bruvastatin so there are some mcq question not so much important don't worry for that okay the two are pro drug such as lovastatin and simvastatin these two are pro drugs and remember this is important all statins are metabolized by your cyp3 a4 enzyme except fluvastatin which metabolized by cyp2 c8 and rosuva and prava they are not metabolized by cyp enzyme so this metabolism is somewhat important clear okay and now coming to the efficacy of these drugs so statins causes maximum decrease in sdl level okay maximum sdl level is decreased by this group of drug that is statins okay more than 50% reduction will be seen if you are giving rosuvastatin clear indication is same mi or stroke you can use this drug if ldl level is more than 190 mg per dl you can use this drug or patient with diabetes mellitus having increased sdl in that particular you can also use this drug and rosuvastatin dose is 40 mg which we start usually and atorvastatin 80 mg okay rosuva 40 or atorva 80 now coming to the contraindication of this drug so these drugs are contraindicated in pregnancy and children less than 12 years so what type of hypolipidemic drugs should be used in this two condition pregnancy and children less than 2 years so the drug of choice will be your resins so resins are generally used in pregnancy and in children who are less than 12 years clear So remember these two contraindications. And now coming to the side effects, which are associated with this statin group of drug. So the first is your hepatotoxic. These drugs are hepatotoxic. Second, myopathy. Okay, and this is the most characteristic side effect of statins. Remember this. This is the most characteristic side effect. This myopathy. 
this myopathy will be the most characteristic side effect of the statin group of drug and this myopathy will lead to rhabdomyolysis that will lead to degeneration of skeletal muscle basically okay and this is a very dangerous condition and the muscle damaging starts and there will be some electrolyte abnormality such as there will be hyperkalemia lactic acidosis myoglobinuria because muscle are damaging and the content of muscles are coming outside so that will lead to hyperkalemia lactic acidosis myoglobinuria and that will lead to acute renal failure clear there will be increased risk of myopathy on combination of statin with other hyperlipid removal drug and cip inhibitor so there will be increased risk of myopathy so just remember about myopathy is very very important clear now let's discuss about some other effect of statin the pleiotropic effects of statin so many other benefits are of statins are also there along with decreasing lipids so statins are anti inflammatory in nature a statins also decreases your uric acid statins are anti platelet as well statins also decreases your plasma fibrin level statins are and also acting as antioxidant statins also increases your no production so these are the other other effects which are associated with your statins okay these are the other effects which are associated with statin now coming to the usage so it is drug of choice statins we are coming to the usage of statin so statin is drug of choice for familial hyperlipidemia type 2 and type 5 because in this two type of uh, familial hyperlipidemia there will be increased amount of ldl and we are knowing this statins causes maximum release maximum decrease in ldl so drug of choice for type 2 and type 5 familial hyperlipidemia is again drug of choice for acquired hypercholesterolemia which is seen in any metabolic syndrome or nephrotic syndrome or alcohol induced then it is also drug of choice for fatty liver so these are the three area where this statins are drug of choice familial hyperlipidemia type 2 and 5 acquired hypercholesterolemia and fatty liver now coming to the next group of drug that is resins so bile acid binders basically they are they just inhibit your intrahepatic circulation of bile okay they inhibit intrahepatic circulation of intrahepatic sorry reabsorption of bile okay intrahepatic reabsorption of bile is inhibited by this drug so if bile is not reabsorbed then there will be there will be there is a need to resynthesize the bile and for resynthesis of bile liver will require ldl so it will again take cholesterol from blood so this is the basic mechanism how this resins work okay this will increase ldl receptor on liver and this will decrease blood ldl drugs coming under this cholestyramine cholestipol and cholesvelam cholesvelam is also approved in type 2 diabetes mellitus treatment clear this cholestyramine decreases absorption its its absorption gets decreases okay due to dioxin and thyroxin now coming to the usage of this resins so they are drug of choice in pregnancy and children they are they can be added to statin okay side effects are they are unpalatable they may lead to steatorrhea and bloating effect so they are resins now coming to the fibrates another important group this fibrates are basically ppar alpha agonist okay this fibrate stimulates your ppar alpha which is present in nucleus of endothelial cell so this when you give fibrate this fibrates will just stimulate the receptor that is PPAR alpha receptor which are present in nucleus of endothelial cell and by stimulating those receptor it just increase the synthesis of lipoprotein lipase and if lipoprotein lipase synthesis increases it will decrease amount of triglyceride so triglyceride amount will be decreasing so just remember fibrates are used for decreasing triglyceride amount clear and it is activating which enzyme lipoprotein lipase so it causes maximum amount of decrement in triglyceride so it is drug of choice for hypertriglyceremia means familial type 3 and 4 because in this two there will be increase in triglyceride they also in decreases the risk of acute appendicitis because we have discussed in our initial part that uh, triglyceride is responsible for acute appendicitis now there are drugs coming under this so the first drug is clofibrate but this is banned nowadays okay this drug is banned we use phenofibrate bezafibrate and gemfibrate these drugs are important phenofibrate bezafibrate and gemfibrate phenofibrate also decreases uric acid and this bezafibrate has no risk of myopathy no risk of myopathy and this fibrates are given generally along with food to increase its absorption so this is also important this fibrates are given along with food to increase the absorption now what are the side effects of uh, this fibrates so gallstone is most important side effect and myopathy but beza fibrate do not show that myopathy side effect clear now coming to the next group next drug that is niacin niacin is also known as nicotinic acid or vitamin b3 or all or nine in low dose means in microgram it has only vitamin activity but in high doses means in grams 
it has hypolipidemic activity as well. Now, what are the effects? So, on liver, it decreases triglyceride synthesis, increases SDL, and decreases lipotin A. And on adipose tissue, it increases lipolysis. So, this, this, is, this, is, this is the effect of niacin. And uses add on drug to fibrate or statin in some resistant cases. And remember the most important point that niacin is the most most toxic among all the hypolipidic drugs. It is the most toxic among all the hypolipidic drugs which we are discussing here. The most toxic among all the hypolipidemic drugs. Okay. This will be the most toxic among all the hypolipidemic drugs. Now coming to side effects. So most common side effect is flushing that is also known as the niacin induced flushing and for that we have discussed drug of choice will be aspirin for that treatment niacin induced flushing treatment the drug of choice will be aspirin then it will be hepatotoxic also hyperglycemia hyperuricemia and hyperpigmentation so these are the common side effects which are associated with your niacin very important side effects are there now Coming to the next new drugs, that is first drug is ejetimibe. So it inhibits just sterol absorption from GIT by inhibiting a one transporter that is known as NPC1 11 transporter. So this ejetimibe just inhibit this NPC1 11 transporter by inhibiting this N NPC1 11 transporter. Transporter it decreases absorption of lipids. Clear? Then you have drug like PCSK9 inhibitor. This enzyme that degrades LDL receptors on liver basically. This enzyme which degrades LDL receptor on liver. Hence these drugs directly okay this enzyme this psk9 is in which degrades ldl receptor on liver so we are we have developed pcsk9 inhibitor so this drugs will inhibit pcsk9 so there will be increased amount of ldl receptor on liver so it includes two drugs evolocumab and elirocumab clear and this drug in clear is in trial then we have next drug that is mipomersan Okay, this is antisense oligonucleotide that decreases your APO B100 production. Clear? Okay. So remember this drug. Only name of the disease, not going in detail. Then the next is omega-3 fatty acid also in decreases VLDL production. Okay, and this is found in fish. Clear? So these are the newer drugs. Just uh, remember the names of the drug. That is important. And you can also go for the lipid profile of different drugs we have discussed statin resins, fibrates and niacin. So this is about your uh, hypolipidemic drugs. Okay, the next drug is your Lomi tapide. It decreases your VLDL production. The next drug is your CETP inhibitors means cholesterol ester transferase protein inhibitors. Okay, this will increase your SGL production including ena, cetrapib and torcetrapib. So just remember the name of the drugs. Name of the drugs can be asked in the viral examination. So this is all about your blood pharmacology. Uh, from next part, we will start with either CNS we will we are going to start or we are going to start uh, your endocrine. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe and support us. So thank you once again.